Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer, where, um, yeah, apparently the music should have been playing in different areas and it just bugged out, so that's a thing. Let's see what happens if we go this way. This place is a massive maze. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to draw a map at some point. Um, I might do that in this episode, I might do it in the next one, we'll sort of see what, what happens. Uh, it's a cave, oh god, this place is all frozen. And there's a gruesome statue. Let's have a look at this. Is this a statue or is it a frozen person? A statue of a really ugly barbarian. Can we, um, like, take anything from this? It's too big for me. Uh, we don't... We have a move command. I don't <coughs> see the point. Alright, fine. If you don't see the point. We've got this, um, jar that I wanted to potentially take back to, um the troll on the bridge but um for now we'll see what happens if we go this way oh wow okay there's a small statue here is this one we can pick up or is it a solid stone statue of a wizard oh this wouldn't be the staff would it it's too big for me that, that might be it okay this looks like maybe a cave no let's just see if there's anything else Around? Doesn't appear that there is. I mean, obviously we have... Oh, God. It's a giant or something. Obviously we have got our map down here, which fills in. So you can see, but it doesn't fill in everywhere. So, I mean, we've got the center of the forest, troll bridge, sleeping giant. So now that we've got here, maybe we'll just go back here, see if we can... Um... Look, let's be reasonable about this. Uh, Do this? I don't think he'd find any use for it. I shall not no. be moved. Alright, um, can we give I this... really could do with some luscious grass. Grass? That's just plain silly. We... I shall not be moved. I don't think the troll would be too pleased if I did that. <laughs> okay, fine. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Alright, he's not going to be moved, so... That's not going to be what we have to do. Um... <clears throat> Can we combine anything in our inventory, by the way? We've got a magnet, a whistle, cold remedy. Can we, like, combine these two things? That doesn't work. No. Can we combine this with this? That doesn't work. No. Right, the only reason I'm wondering about that is because of the, um, well. I'm guessing we need a handle for the well, but, um, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, you've made your point. Let's go to the map and we'll check out the sleeping giant, see what's going on here. He's in a deep sleep. Tree here. I don't know if we can get him to knock this tree over to like make a path. I don't see the point. If I could find a way to knock it over, I could get across the chasm. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what we have to do. Uh, can we talk to this guy? I don't think I can shout loud enough to wake him. Ah, oh, maybe the whistle? There's no point. It's blocked up with something. Blocked up with something. It's got something stuck in the end of it. Is there anything we can make? That doesn't work. No. That doesn't work. All right, so we're gonna have to maybe like put something in that there. That doesn't work. It just says it's got something. It doesn't tell us why it might it's be. It's got something stuck in the end of it. Hmm. Okay, got the cold remedy. I'm not sure how that's going to help us. Um, I don't know what the deal with this um, shop thing is. We were told something was going to be left outside the shop, weren't we? But again, it still doesn't look like it's here. So, there's that. Now, if we come out here, can we go... Oh, no, we can't go that way. I figured maybe we could go that way, but I don't think we can. Um, the only other thing I want to do is... Um, I was thinking about that consume command. I wonder if we can use that on that house with like the chocolate door or whatever it was. Was it this way? What was this place again? Is that like the potion shop or something? Uh, yeah, this is the one. Chocolate truffle door. Can we... I could never get through all that. Oh no, okay, we can't. I wonder if we could, like, eat some of it, but no, we can't. Um, 
specimen jar, scissors. I don't, I don't know that anything here is going to help us. Let's just have a look at some of these things. It's a metal bar from inside a bell. Metal bar? Can we like? That doesn't work. No. Okay. We've got the beehive. I'm not going too close. Okay. All right. Well. Nothing's happened with the shop yet. They said something was going to be left outside, but that doesn't seem to have happened. Let's go back to the centre of the forest. And maybe we'll see about, I don't know, going a slightly different way. We've got the dwarf mine, which we can't get into. I'm guessing maybe we're going to have to, like, dress up as a dwarf to get in there. What's up here? Uh, we've been this way before, haven't we? We've got this weird tree. I'm sure we've been into this cave looks familiar or maybe we came into it briefly but then walked away let's see what's going on oh yeah yeah we did okay now is there a way we can go up here is this a way uh we do appear to be able to get up here but then there's not any way we can go oh, weird all right Let's try some of the other directions then. Is that? I wondered if that was a ladder or something, but I don't think it is. Um, can we go down this way? Is this a way? It is not a way. Okay, what was this way? Ah, this looks potentially new. Ooh, what's there? No, there's nothing we can do there. In fact, it doesn't look like there's anything we can interact with on this screen. The environments are really beautiful in this, though. Oh, hang on. Who's this? Woodcutter. Doesn't look very happy. He looks miserable. <laughs> Yeah, it does. How will I live? Excuse me? Yeah? Um, <clears throat> you look like you need cheering up. You look like you need cheering up? No one could cheer me up. My life is in ruins. Oh. Um, nonsense. It's never too late to be of good cheer. Um, still, it's a wonderful world we live in, eh? You just gotta take the rough with the smooth. You just gotta take the rough with the smooth. In my case, I just have to take the rough with the rougher. <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Deserve what? Um, uh, <laughs> you really are an old misery guts. What exactly is the problem? What exactly is the problem? Trees. Trees? Trees. The big hard brown things with green bits? <laughs> Trees, yes. Okay, I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. I thought woodcutters were problems for trees. Not these trees around here. Uh, what's so special about these trees? What's so special about these trees? They have some sort of magical protection over them. The uh, blows of my axe just bounce off. Okay, um, <clears throat> why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Why don't you just go back to a normal forest? Because all my money is tied up in this house, I can't afford to go back. It looked like a real woodcutter's paradise in the brochure. <laughs> the now brochure. I know why none of the others came here. Okay, why don't you just buy a magical axe? Why don't you just buy a magical axe? Do you know how much those things cost? No. The only thing that'll help me is an axe made of milrith. Milrith? It's an anagram of mithril. Oh. It's also the hardest metal known to man. Yeah, we're gonna have to go to the dwarf place, right? Um, well, there you are then. Problem solved. Well, there you are then. Problem solved. No, it isn't. Milrith is incredibly rare. I don't know anyone that's ever seen it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Have you tried the dwarves? Have you tried the dwarves? If you want Mithril, dwarves is fine. But those stunty buggers don't know anything about Milrith. When I asked, all they did was give me this metal detector. Oh, metal detector, eh? Give me the metal detector and I'll have a look around. Um, what's a metal detector doing in this dimension? <laughs> I'm sorry, but your whinging is boring me to death by... Uh, give it to me. Give me the metal detector and I'll have a look round. Okay. 
You can't do any worse than me, I suppose. You're on. Okay, well, we got... Um, Why didn't I listen to my mother? Got a metal detector now, which is which is great. Um, can we well, use this? I don't think I'll find any Millerith around here. Okay, no, we won't. All right, let's see if, if um, this guy's got anything I'm else to Yo, say. woodcutting person. Oh, hello. Any luck? Um, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. My hopes weren't high. Leave me alone. I'm going through an all-time low. <laughs> okay, fine. Um, is there anything? I'll be this the way? laughing stock of the guild. Oh, there is. Check out this place. Can we? Okay, so it seems like we we're like potentially stuck up here. So this is like a dead end for now, at least. I should have known this would happen. Did this go onto the map? Let's have a look at the map. Uh, it did not go onto the map, which is kind of annoying. Um, anyway, we remember roughly I'll where it is. I'll have to sell everything. Um, I'm guessing we need to get into that dwarf mine to use this metal detector, which means figuring out how to be a dwarf. So, what did they say? I thought I told you to get lost, but I am a dwarf. Look, pal, dwarves have beards. Now push off. I shaved it off. If you <laughs> ain't out of my sight in three seconds. Dwarves have beards. Okay. Can we maybe, like, make a beard? We don't have anything fluffy by the looks of things. Hang on, is this a way up here as well? Oh, it is, wow. Where does this take us to? Oh yeah, this place where I theorised we could maybe use the, the ladder, but there wasn't anything except a, a piece of paper here, was there? Which I think was... Well, where's the paper gone? Was it Do up? you really want me to read it all again? No. Alright, I don't know what happened to that piece of paper, I can't remember. Let's head this way. Can't get any of these things by the looks of things. Um... This guy wants a fossil, doesn't he? We haven't found any fossils. Maybe we'll find one of those in the dwarf mine. It seems like the dwarf mine might be what we want to do. <clears throat> now this is quite the crossroads here. Oh yeah, it's him. I'm not staying here with that racket going on. Yeah, we can't get past him until we can figure out how to stop that racket. What was this way? Hmm. Oh yeah, this led back round, didn't it? I remember this, like if you take both of these paths, they join further up. Is that right? Yeah, okay. Right, let's head this way. Does this take us back to the village? It does, okay. I'm sort of remembering where we are now with the stuff. Now, is there anybody that we've come across who has a beard? These guys certainly don't. Hey, what, what happened? The asparagus jelly goes here with all the other jellies. Excuse me. See you around. Bye. Where's the thing that you guys were meant to be delivering? Don't know. All right, let's head up this way. Uh, I think, does this take us to, has this guy got a beard? Sort of. This was the blacksmith guy, but he's too busy, isn't he? And then, yeah, this takes us back to the starting place. Yeah, see, there's no music in the town. It's like it bugs out sometimes, which is kind of weird. See if we can talk to this guy. Good morning. He's too engrossed in his work to hear me. Yeah, okay. Well, he's not going to help us. Let's head this way. Yeah, it's meant to be playing like the main theme tune in the town, right? But it's just not. 
if we if we like fast travel here no see that's not doing it either really weird really weird all right um, well, I'll tell you what, guys, we will carry on having a look around in the next episode. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tamily Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, JohnCom555, Chrissy, Paul James, and TJG66. And I'll see you next time.